hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel before we get started please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload follow me on instagram at maddie's underscore mood underscore swings all right let's jump into the video i want to share the conversation that i had with my mother recently um as you guys know i am back in therapy and she is one of my major major um baggages that i need to unpack um, I've never really talked about uh, m my relationship with my mom with my therapist before. It has always been about my other trauma. Um, but I am understanding that in order for me to have a successful relationship, I need to begin to start, I need to start the healing process with my mom. And boy, has it been oh man has it been tough man and and uh so anywho i and we don't talk like we don't call each other we don't like we rarely hang out whenever we do hang out it's because my siblings are getting together for whatever reason and so we don't really seek each other out you know it's one of those situations where it's better for my betterment to love you from afar it's just healthier for me um because we have such a because we have such negative history so recently you know i asked her i said can i come over so you can braid my hair i just needed really an excuse and so i was over and she was braiding my hair and i began to ask her questions that my therapist was were would ask me like what did i see in my parents relationship that i brought into my my romantic relationships so i i asked her to so i can kind of get an idea of where her mindset was when she was with my dad and then i asked her what was her relationship like with her parents and i'm not gonna go into the things that she told me because that's her story to tell and i don't want to um tell her story I guess um, so but I will say that her relationship with her mother wasn't the greatest and as she was telling me I told her that I remember um, this past Mother's Day my sister and I took her out for breakfast and I and I go I go um, for my my sister you know my sister has a relationship with her it's not the greatest but they still have one so I decided to go with her and then I remember um, at breakfast at breakfast she started um, expressing how she felt about her mom and I just remember looking at her and thinking like you did the same thing to me like you weren't the greatest mother to me and I remember getting really angry and then I stopped myself for a second and then I said to myself, do I want to have the mindset of a resentment or a bitterness or you did this to me and you did that to me and and just hold a bunch of anger? So in that second, I was telling her that um, that I just chose to look at her as a human being, as, as a woman that is is not my mother and to try to separate that and um, I genuinely felt bad for her and and I told her when she was braiding my hair that she hurt me and that um and you know obviously she stopped for a second and I sat down on the bed and I began to tell her that you know uh, I remember having a memory where I was four years old and um, I had an accident I peed on myself and she put me in the bathroom and put me in the tub and just turned the cold water on and began to spank me and tell me like don't you ever pee on the bed again and and I re and I remember telling her um, that that was one of many occasions where where all she made me feel growing up was anxiety fear and and she made me feel like 
I knew she was coming home by three o'clock and I always felt like, oh, I need to hurry up and make sure that everything is clean and I'm, I need to make sure that I have everything together or it's not going to be a very good day for me. And that's me at five years old. And I told her that when you first start to develop memories, you're about, you're well, that you can remember, right? The furthest I could remember is me being four years old. And I don't have memories of a, a healthy relationship with, with my mom. I don't have not one single memory of, of us having a great time. They're all based off fear and, and anger and pain and just not a good time. And, um, and I was expressing that to her. And, uh, and then I said, but now I under I'm starting to understand why you did those things. Um, you had a mother that was kind of doing the same thing to you and instead of learning and, and, um, processing that and deciding to not be that way with your own children, uh, you didn't take that route, um, because hurt people hurt people. And she decided to do the same thing. And then... I started to understand that my mom got married at 14 years old and in Mexico she was born and raised in Mexico and she was she got married at 14 years old my dad is only like two years older than her so they were they were kids and and then they had their first baby around that time so they were kids having kids you know and then they had seven in total and back then they didn't have the resources that we have now and, and I told her, I understand that you were a child having children and you never got the chance to, to get healthy, to, to really question whether or not you were a good mother, to go and seek therapy, to, to ask yourself if you're doing the right or wrong thing. Um, I understand that when you were raising, uh, when you were with us and you were raising seven children, I, I, I don't understand where you would even have the time to even look at yourself. I'm not a parent, so those of you that are parents, I would love to hear your opinion. Um, but I can't even imagine what it's like to, to have to, you know, wake up, go to work, and then come home and get your kids, like, ready and clean and cook and all of that jazz for seven. And then, you know, at the end of the day, think of, well... Let me work on my betterment and let me work on my mental health and, and all of those things. And, and understanding that they didn't have those resources and they didn't even think like that back then. They, uh, my parents come from a whole different era and they were born in a whole different country where they did things completely different than what, they, than what we do here. And um, so she looked at me and and she grabbed my hands and she said mari can you please forgive me for all of my wrongdoings she said i am absolutely sorry for every single thing i have ever done she said i don't want to ask for forgiveness on my deathbed I want to ask for forgiveness and it's and it's not an easy thing for me to ask but I really hope that one day you get to a point where you can forgive me and I'm really really sorry and she was sobbing like sobbing and then she started to hug me and of course I'm I'm like crying because the whole thing is emotional and um, and she kept saying forgive me please forgive me and uh, while I was hugging her, if I'm being completely honest, I had no idea how to feel. Like I wasn't feeling anger and I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling like that, that feeling that I got when I did get to the space where I forgave my siblings. I didn't have that. I, I felt like um, I am ready to start the healing process, but I'm not at a space where I'm ready to say I forgive you yet. 
um, because there's still so much that I need to unpack in that relationship. Um, but I did look at her and I told her, Mom, if you woke up today, that means that God's not done with you yet. That means that you have an opportunity to change, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to take accountability of your life, an opportunity to be different and to choose better methods of expressing yourself and, and of dealing uh, better methods to to deal with your anger or to deal with 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 your guilt and to deal with your resentment because she does have a lot of that like one thing one of the things that my mother has is that she's extremely prideful like she's so prideful and super hard and i understand why you know she's had such a crappy life herself she has a crazy history um so i get that but she she chose the bitter route and and i told her that she can get off that route now that she can choose to express herself and let all of those things out and to work on it every single day and and to choose to be better because you are responsible of the outcome of your life you are responsible for your own choices and um and i told her that the number one thing that she needs to do is forgive herself because um she shared a particular story with me and um it was a very difficult story to to hear and she told me that she was in in a relationship that wasn't so healthy and um, she had to endure a lot of trauma in that relationship but she felt like she needed to stay in that relationship because that was her punishment for not being there for her children and and then she said um, I feel like I have paid for all of my mistakes in more ways than one um, because she is alone and she she's only now starting to talk to her children um, and I don't fully know her history but I I do believe that everybody deserves to work on themselves and deserves to become a better person if they choose to and I told her that where she needs to begin is is to start forgiving herself and and to understand that she doesn't have to carry that guilt that um we are all not perfect we've all made mistakes and um that we all don't have the right to to tell someone that they can't change or they don't have the ability to change because we really don't know um or I used to be not that great of a person and I will share that and um, I made some mistakes in my life and if and if I believe that that's who I was going to end up being if my my life would have completely looked different than what it looks like today I'm, I'm glad that I believed in a change and second chances and 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 a better life so if you're out there and you've made some some really bad mistakes understand that you have the ability to change it you have the ability to do better um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video or at least learn something from it you know I, I understand that a lot of people don't necessarily like the fact that I give my parents a chance because of my history but if I, like I've said before, I want to be a woman of growth and I want to be a woman that changed generational curses and breaks generational chains. 
And in order for me to accomplish that, I have to look at my parents as individuals and not my parents. I have to understand their history and where they come from. Because at the end of the day, we're all human beings and we all have a background. And, and if we just point the finger and judge, then we're not going to progress. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy your week. I love you so, so much. And thank you for just being here once again and for just being on this journey with me that has been so life-changing and man i'm just so filled with hope and i wish you guys could see the the things that i see in my head like all of all of my past experiences and 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 how i'm i'm really changing my life for the better and um, so thank you for being on this journey with me. I love you so, so much. I hope you're doing great. Enjoy the rest of your week. Be kind to yourself and go out there, show people love, because as you know, there's definitely, definitely not enough of that. All right, guys, love you. Bye.